welcome back to the farm it is that day we we're gonna wait another week but uh it is getting too big chickens are too big for the brooder it's nice enough during the day and isaiah and i are out here getting this ready we are wrapping it three-sided we're not going to put tarps on the front yet but it is time to get these meat birds out of the brooder so we've got this wrapped up it's getting down into the 50s at night which is pretty chilly but most of the birds are feathered out these guys are fine they're a couple weeks older than the ones we're about to bring out so we've got the tarps up now we get the fun task of going out and getting all the meat birds out of the brooder one of your favorite jobs right no <laughs> let's get them <laughs> This is our first trip of the last batch of the year. So when you want to talk about exciting, we are, or excited, we are excited to almost be done with Cornish Cross, but probably not as excited as these guys are to be out on this grass, even though they're kind of in shock of what this is. So they're gonna enjoy the rest of their days here on the farm. We're gonna stop talking and go get the rest of them out. So we'll be done taking Cornish out of the brooder for this year. Man, guys, that is a great feeling. Our last trip outside with Cornish. Now I've got five, six weeks left before everything is done and in the freezers, but I have no more Cornish cross in the brooders. You see, it's not taking them very long to find the feed. They will find the waters. They had the, uh, different type of waters in their brooder now we switch them to the pan waters these guys are tall enough you can just hear that they are happy to be out of that brooder onto some grass figuring out what everything is here but man we're not done with the season but we're done with a part of the season that is not very fun and that is the brooder part especially when they get to this size these guys are probably three and a half weeks old almost four and uh they are growing nicely and now they are whoops and see this little one in the corner now they are enjoying themselves guys we have not run over a bird a lot of people when they drag these chicken tractors if you haven't seen our video about when we made these we'll try to post that here we call these the broiler bumpers the little piece of uh conduit that runs along the back bumps into them as it goes keeps them from getting run now the first couple times when we pull this it being their first time outside they won't be quite used to it so sometimes isaiah will come in the back of this and help move them along but it does not take long for them to uh figure out that it is move day and they are time time to get to a fresh piece of grass so phew i've said it a million once i've said it a million times i am so glad they're outside we've got them right next door to our second to last batch so i can uh easily get them both fed and watered at the same time in the same area 
These guys have fertilized our front lawn, also known as our pasture, <laughs> very well this year. And uh, we are happy to have them out here. So we've got it covered on three sides. Like I said, in the, in the daytime, it's going to be just fine for these guys. Um, 70s um, in the evening, it gets a little cold. So I just want them, if there's breeze, I want them to be able to get out of the breeze and uh, stay warm. There's a hundred of them out here. So they'll be able to huddle and stay warm, but uh, it's nice to have them out. So we do have the hundred egg layers in there and I want to get them out too. So it's gonna take a little longer for that. I've got to take Brooklyn to her cheerleading practice. I've got to do the chores, but we're gonna come back and we are gonna get those egg layers out. You see second to last batch here doing just fine. They're old enough, they don't need the three tarps. A little bit of breeze, they're just about feathered out. Well, they are fully feathered. You guys know how these chickens are naked looking sometimes. If you guys have never raised Cornish and all you have heard is negative things about them, they're the Frankenstein chicken. They don't move, they don't walk. Yes, these are not egg laying chickens. These are, these are meatballs and they are bred and raised just for that. Um, but you put them outside on grass in their natural environment, not in a factory, they do just fine. I've heard people talk about broken legs and heart issues and everything else. And yes, we've lost a few. The most we lose is when it is cold out at the start of the season. Um, after those first couple batches, we hardly lose any. We don't really have leg issues every once in a while. There'll be a chicken with a bad leg. Um, but I hear horror stories of all oh, my chickens have bad legs and they're all dying early. That is that is not the case. Um, these chickens do just fine for us. Um, and best of all, they grow out fast and they are delicious. So if you are hesitant to try these because of the stories, some of it is true. They poop a ton. There is a ton of poop. This is what got moved at breakfast this morning and there's a bunch of poop. So the brooder gets dirty quick and often, depending on how much you, how many birds you have in there. Um, but once you get them outside, you keep them moving, they do just fine and they fertilize your lawn perfectly. So they can change some arid looking places into some lush green pasture. So don't be afraid of them. Don't, maybe don't get a hundred if you're just trying them for the first time, maybe get 20, 25 and try them. Um, but we love them. We would never raise another beet bird. We've done the red rangers. We've done the big red broilers, whatever you want to call them. Every hatchery has got their own, own type, but we constantly go back to the Cornish cross. Um, just a great, great chicken. If you're looking for meat, if this is the first chicken you've ever raised, you may not want to start with it because they're big, they're ugly and they poop a lot, but they taste delicious. So anyway, guys, that's my spiel on Cornish cross. We love them. We think you should try them. If you're wanting meat quick, fill your freezer, feed your family for a year in just eight weeks. And when I say that, I'm talking about one chicken a week for your family. You could raise 52 birds in eight weeks and have one chicken a week for your family for the year. So such, such an awesome bird, quick turnaround, um, and we love them. So here's the last batch. Excited not to have any more brooders. Seems like it was just yesterday we started, and now the last, I'd say there's about 180 left out here that we have to process, which is quite a quite a process when it's just me and Jamie doing it, but we've had a good time and we've been pretty successful with it, so. Well, I'm gonna get the rest of the egg layers out so we don't have anything left in the brooders. I've gotta get Brooklyn to cheerleading and knock out some chores tonight. We won't drag you along on all those stops today, but I did have a question about what is wrong with Cal. Obviously some people have not seen that video. Let's go check out Cal and we'll wrap this video up. All right, normally he is sitting out back here on the porch during the day. Oh, where were you, bud? Come here, come. People wanna see what's wrong with you. So anyway, if you guys haven't seen the video, We'll post that here, but uh, come here. Good boy. He is doing good. Sit, 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 sit. We want to see you. Sit down. Hey. <laughs> sit. Can you sit? He gets excited when I sit down. He wants to be on the same level as me. Here, sit. Hey. 
There you go. Good boy. So if you guys haven't seen the video, he did lose an eye. That's healing up great. I called the vet. The vet said the stitches take three to six months to dissolve. So that's why you still see stitches there. But uh, other than that, he has been his crazy normal self, man. He has been a great dog. I need to work with him more. But for the amount of time I've worked with him and how smart he is, he is doing fantastic. Every once in a while, he'll chase some deer underneath the neighbor's fence over there. So we got to correct that. But uh, he's doing great, man. Nothing, Nothing's wrong with him. He's adapted well to being a pirate dog. Oh, Calmar. Right, buddy? <laughs> and uh, he's still a puppy. I think his birthday is November 9th. Brooklyn disagrees on the date, but I haven't looked it up yet. But she's normally right. But I think it's the 9th, so... He'll be a year in November, so he's still a puppy. He weighed 92 pounds when he went in and had his eye removed. Um, and so I'm sure he weighs more than that now. It's been quite a while, but nothing's wrong with him. He's doing great. Um, we have coyotes going crazy, and he'll walk to the edge of our property and just bark until they stop, which is awesome. That's the reason we got him. We didn't want to lose chickens, pigs, or any other animals. I'm not saying go out and get a livestock guardian but uh <laughs> but nobody can see you you gotta back up back up but if you did i would suggest a crocochan we have not had any other breeds so i can't speak on other breeds but he's not a roamer hey sit down sit down we want to look at you good boy good sit stay there he's not a roamer and uh he's he's been just a great dog and we couldn't ask for more like i said for as much as I've worked and trained him, he's he's better than expected. So I've got to do a little better than that or with that. But that being said, he's a great dog and nothing's wrong with him. He's got one eye, but he's doing great. <laughs> Did you hear me? Are you getting self-conscious about that, bud? Come here. All right. Well, I just wanted to give that update because we had someone ask what was wrong. I don't know if that's what they meant by that question, but he's doing great. We feed him an all raw diet. He doesn't really stink when you pet him. Um, it's just been a good good transition for us. We've never we've had dogs before, but never done a raw natural diet. And it's been working out well for us. We have someone helping us with that since it's our first time doing it. And he's doing great. So anyway, guys, chicken's out. Cornish cross season winding down. Markets are slowly winding down as we head towards fall. I'm um, enjoying the uh, brisk morning temperatures and just the lower temperatures all around. So appreciate you guys following along. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. <laughs>